Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com. Let's take a look together at this Furman 10,000 watt portable gas generator. Now this gas powered generator is going to be a great option to consider for home backup, job sites, events, or RVs, just to name a few situations where this would be a great generator to use. This portable, this portable generator is going to be ready for virtually anything that you throw at it. This is going to give you 120 volt or 240 volt power to run appliances and tools, as well as 50 amp service for larger RVs. Now, as you probably know, when choosing a generator, you need to match the generator's starting and running output with the electrical demands of the equipment that you want to operate and power. On this product page, we have provided for you a, a really good write-up to help you determine the type of generator that's going to be best for your particular application. So if you're wondering about which specific type of generator is gonna work for you, please take a look at the detailed information that we have for you on this product page, because we wanna be sure that we hook you up with just the right generator. Now this generator is equipped with a starting power output of 10,000 watts and a running power output of 8,000 watts. And this does feature an electric start engine that's going to start up with just a push of a button. And of course, it does have the recoil handle that you probably just saw as I was uh, turning this around uh, to uh, pull start the engine if needed. Now, let me go ahead and go over uh, most of the features that this generator does offer. So um, I'm just gonna kind of make my way uh, across our uh, control panel here. And we do have quite a few features here that I wanna be sure uh, that you're aware of. So first we do have our, our engine start switch and then our four in, one, four, four in one data minder that's gonna show you your voltage, hertz, running hours, and low oil alarm. And then we have our battery switch here uh, to power the electric starter. And then we do have our remote start uh, button um, right here. And uh, this is uh, actually a remote start program button. I misphrased that. So remote start uh, program button and then our remote start indicator light. And speaking of remote, in this panel right here, is the remote control with the carabiner on it that you can put onto your keys. And then when uh, your generator is in storage and you're not using it, this has a really nice compartment here to where you can just put that remote back into place. So that's a really great feature that this has. We also have our CO alert, carbon monoxide shutdown indicator light here. And then we have uh, uh, going uh, down here, uh, circuit breakers here here and here. And then right here, we have our 120, 240 volt uh, 50 amp outlet. And then our 120 volt, 240 volt of uh, 30 amp twist lock outlet. And then our 120 volt, 30 amp twist lock outlet there. And then our uh, 120 volt, 20 amp duplex outlet there. That is GFCI. And so I think we covered all the outlets there. We have our ground terminal here. And then uh, on this side, we have our spark arrestor. So those are the, uh, the main features that this offers. And then um, this does feature Furman's 439cc engine. And so this is going to have a continuous runtime of about 12 hours uh, at 50% load. This clean running engine meets CARB, CETL, and EPA standards. And this does feature an eight gallon steel tank. Let me give you an overhead look here, line that up there so you can see. So we have our uh, fill cap here. We also have a fuel gauge here uh, so you can see how much gas you have left. And in regards to how loud this is, a normal conversation is about 68 decibels. So measured at about 25 feet away at 75% load in standard mode, this uh, has um, a noise level of about 82 decibels, just so you're aware of that. So eight gallon steel tank that you can see there. 
And this also features 10 inch uh, flat free wheels that's going to give you easy mobility. And speaking of mobility and transport, we also have this fold down handle with a nice grip. So I use this to maneuver it into my studio. So that's a great addition. And then when you're not using it, it's just going, going to drop down out of the way. So we mentioned that it does include the remote control that is housed here uh, in this little compartment. We also have a, um, bring that down there so you can see, TT30P to L530R adapter that's included with this generator. And then we also have a bottle of oil, uh, a funnel to help you uh, put that oil in. And the oil fill is right there. I think you can see that. So pretty accessible. And then we also have uh, some tools here that's included with this kit. Comes in this pouch. So I'm going to bring this uh, up to the camera here so you can see. So I'm going to pour these tools out. So we get a uh, spark plug wrench that's included with this. So that's included along with uh, two other wrenches. Um, two double open wrenches, a 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter. And then it, it's all uh, included in this little pouch that it comes in. So that's a nice little addition. These tools can actually be used to um, do the little bit of assembly that needs to be done when you get it out of the box to help you uh, attach the handle and uh, just get it ready to, for use. So that's a very handy addition that's included with this. And let me look over here, see if there's anything else. We got our battery here uh, for the elect electronic start. And just to give you some measurements, looking at the overall length from end to end, it's about 27 and 1 8 inches long. The overall width, and I am including the wheels end to end, about 27 and a half inches wide. And the overall height, about 26 and 7 8 inches tall. Uh, this is a large generator, as you would expect. So this weighs a, a little over 200 pounds, about 205, 210 pounds in that range. They're obviously dry. And just a few final notes. Obviously, gas generators produce carbon monoxide, which is poisonous. So for your safety, you always want to be sure that you run this gas power generator outside. And because this generator does not have a built-in inverter to control the electrical current, the voltage can fluctuate. So you want to be sure that you don't plug in your sensitive electronic devices, such as a computer or television, into this generator. Well, I think that's going to wrap up our look today. I do hope that our time together was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.